Hey guys, Inventor719 here, and in one of my last videos, you may have remembered I made some cool explosive paintballs with these shells. They're basically two halves that you put together. There's a male and a female, and you fill it with whatever you want. So right now, we're making explosive paintballs. But in today's video, I have these shotgun shells that I got from a gun range. I don't even have a shotgun, so I'm going to be taking apart one of these here and putting in some steel balls and gunpowder and a bit of flash powder maybe even the primer in one of them to see what we can do damage wise now what I did in the last video I do advise that you can do at home but this one is a little dangerous so I recommend not trying to dismantle any type of ammunition or shotgun shells for that matter at home just in case something were to happen I don't want to be responsible and Obviously, these are very powerful and can cause seriously injury if they do go off. But anyway, I'm not here to lecture you. I'm just saying do not try this at home. What I'm doing now is using a screwdriver, as you can see, to pry open the top of it. And once I get it open, I'll show you what's inside. So here I got the top of the shotgun shell open. These are birdshot. I'm not quite sure what size. Ultralight 9 made by Winchester. So let's go ahead and dump it into this bucket. So there is what looks to be all of the bird shot in it. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut off the top and take out the gunpowder. So I cut the top off, top off here and then you take out this little plunger which is basically what is used to push all the BBs out. So putting that aside we have the gunpowder at the bottom. pretty stuck. I'm going to have to use a screwdriver and get that out, but I'm going to mix it in with all the little BBs. There it is, all emptied out. Now it's just a shell with a primer. I'm going to keep this. You may see it in a future video, but for today's video, here's what I got. So in each shotgun shell, believe it or not, that's all the powder that they use, and there's all the BBs. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and make it into a little slurry here, and this should be able to make a few paintballs. And I'll go ahead outside with my safety glasses on, of course, and shoot a tree. There's the slurry that we're left with. I'm going to go shoot these against a tree or a microwave, possibly, and see what damage it causes. No promises that it will explode, but shooting them on a microwave should at least make some damage to the microwave. Let's see what happens. I found that the easiest way to make them is to take the part with the male little ridge here, put it at the end of my container, I'll then just pour a little bit in here. So I'm only filling them half full or else I won't be able to close them. So do it half full, then grab uh, one of the female halves. If you've never seen these before, they're really cool. Snap them together and there you have a paintball full of BBs and a little bit of gunpowder. Set it aside. I should be able to make four, five, even six of them, then we'll go and test them out. Alright, so, with just the one shotgun shell, I actually made seven paintballs. We're going to go ahead and put them inside my gun and get testing. Alright, I got my hopper loaded up in my cheap $20 stealth paintball gun that I got on Kijiji here. So, all seven paintballs I'm going to fire off at this microwave. I'm going to go on this side so I can kind of hide behind the wall, because these are made of steel. So there will probably be some ricochet, but I'm going to zoom in on the microwave for you guys so you can see the best damage results. But believe me, these are paintballs firing, whatever happens, they're not bullets or anything. I'll show you the first one with my barrel on the screen so you can see it. Here we go, firing in the microwave. Firing in three, two, one. So it doesn't look like they're going to make too much sparks. But let's see if we can get some rapid fire going and break some holes in the microwave glass. Or the buttons even. Or the handle. Firing in three, two, one. All six shots. Oh, got some good damage on the last shot there. Put safety on. Let's go check it out. So first thing to note is there are a bunch of cracked pieces everywhere both from the microwave and from my ammo from my last video there's the leftover caps go check out that video if you want to see some fiery paintballs 
But here is the microwave. So the first few shots were at the handle. They broke that handle open like nothing. Then actually, I did a few shots at the glass, but it wasn't until the last shot, right at the very top, that it really broke the microwave. I don't even want to open the door because there's glass everywhere. I'm just going to have to straight pack up that microwave and dispose of it. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe.